Let's move on to some other news that we were expecting and expecting it a little earlier. But, you know, when it comes, it comes. You can see this as good, see this as bad, but you can basically see that it was definitely going to happen. The headline for the story at number seven this morning is on Bronny James, who's reportedly going to the G League after the Nest Lakers road trip. When the Lakers leave the road in a few days, he's going to the G League. He's going to the G League. He's going to the G League. I'm not sure how many people thought he was not going to the G League, but essentially every analyst and everybody who knew anything about real basketball and even a lot of people who were still on the hater bandwagon even had thought about it. Essentially said he's going to spend a lot of time in development. He probably shouldn't have been drafted. He got drafted because he was LeBron's son, yada, yada, yada. Um, he is good enough to be on the court. A lot of guys are good enough to be on the court, but they're good enough to actually contribute. So a lot of actual, let's just say development is happening because – after the road trip that ends essentially tonight, or ends, I'm sorry, it starts tonight, it ends on the 6th. Uh, next weekend, he will be in the G League, playing for the Lakers affiliate very soon. How long will he be down in the minor leagues for basketball? Who knows? Will he be called back up and the Lakers make a run for it? Most likely. Have we been happy with the history of him being on the same court as his father? It's awesome. It's great. The Lakers also need to win some games, and so if they don't win any games, all the love fest doesn't mean anything. It is. I mean, it's the truth. It is what it is. So, Bronny James going to the G League in about a week. How long will he be down there? Only his talent will tell us.